Hello guys and welcome back to another exciting episode of Grammar with Sri. I'm Sri Hari from Genesis Training. Let's see what we have in store for you today. Idioms and verbal analogies. A very beautiful topic and I might say a very rather easy topic when it comes to your verbal training and of course your campus recruitment process. This is one of the chief scoring factors that you come across in your verbal section when you attempt your aptitude tests. Not just in IELTS but also in most of your corporate and company quizzes. This is one of the most common sections. To understand this better, let's see what it is all about. What is an idiom? So, an idiom is an expression or an idiom is a word or a phrase that only has a meaning to the native speaker. Idioms does not mean exactly what they say, they usually have a hidden meaning. So it's as simple as the definition says. So let's see an example on what an idiom has to tell us and what makes an idiom different. One of the most common idioms in English language is break a leg. Before Peter went on the stage for the show, John told him to break a leg. Well, you might be wondering, like, how can he go on the stage if he broke his leg, right? Like, the literal meaning, I'm going to, I'm telling you to literally break a bone in your leg. Oh, sounds weird and dark. So, that's something you wouldn't want to tell someone who is about to go on stage, right? So, what does the idiomatic meaning tell you? Do your best. And good luck. So break a leg means usually wishing them good luck, not literally just go and break your leg or something like that. So how uh, is this implemented in most of uh, your sentences? So, so let's see a couple more examples here. To talk one's head off. So what do you think it means? To think aloud? To talk loudly? To talk excessively? Or to talk senselessly. So think about it. So if someone is talking one's head off, so he's literally basically putting things into words without literally thinking about it. So whatever that's running in your head is usually coming out of his mouth. The correct answer would be to talk excessively. So there is no break between his head and his mouth. So there is no form factor, no filter, nothing. So whatever comes to their head, they just keep rambling on and on. So, to talk one's head off usually means to talk excessively. So, you should think in such terms. So, let's try another one here. To take with a grain of salt. So, to take with a grain of salt. To take seriously or to take with the reservation, to take with some reservation or being doubtful or being cautious. So here the right answer is option B, to take with some reservation. To take with a grain of salt usually doesn't mean just to take just a grain of salt. So before you put salt, you want to see how intense is the salt. So you would just take a grain of salt. So to take with some reservation, before you experience the whole thing, you take something with reservation. Even when you go to a restaurant, you just don't bogart whatever is in your plate. You take some, you taste it. And when you like it, you dig deeper. So this is pretty much like in Kannada what we say Gade Gado or it has its own meaning. So in Kannada, if I have to give an example, like Desha Sutti Kali Kosha Odi Kali. So in Kannada, it means travel the world and learn and read the books and learn. And there is something that that's quite literal if you ask me. So that's a quite literal transformation what I'm giving you. But basically the broader meaning what it means is you don't just get knowledge by sitting in a room and just studying all the time. You have to experience different things. Basically step out of your comfort zone and travel. So now that we are done with idioms, it's time for a quick short quiz. So in this quiz, I'll be giving you out a couple of questions the same like the examples that we saw now. And it will also have the options. So take time if you have to discuss with your friends and try solving these questions and when that happens you can come back for the next set of the lesson that would be coming up in a short while.
Until then, please go ahead and attempt the test. Thank you.